Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a quick review for you of this little guy. This is the Jin Hao X750 fountain pen. Um, the thing that is notable about this little Jin Hao X750 is that it was $4 shipped directly from China. That's not a whole lot of money to pay for a fountain pen, to put it nicely, and, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting in light of what you get there. Um, I am gonna go ahead and do a quick review here. This is not quite worth the full good, great, the bad, and the ugly, but I'll talk about some of the strengths and the weaknesses of this particular product and uh, move on. But first, the size comparison. This is not a small pen. You can see here we've got a uh, Pilot G2 right here, Coeco Lilliput. One of my very favorite everyday carry fountain pens right here. Uh, let's see here. This is the uh, Keras Customs fountain pen, Fountain K, and uh, Parker Jada, a conventional Bic click stick pen, and a uh, Hinderer Investigator pen down here. So this is, this is sizable. So let's talk about some of the strengths and the weaknesses of this particular pen. So on the good side, you know, honestly, the uh, the thing that this pen does best is the, the, the overall feel of it. This pen is actually fairly nicely made in a in an inexpensive sense. It's using some kind of a polymer that feels good in the hand. It feels reasonably stiff. It feels, and the whole thing has a feeling of weight to it that is kind of surprising, honestly. You would expect the $4 pen to feel very small and cheapy. But at 1.3 ounces, this feels reasonable. I'm not saying it's going to be, you know, God's gift to fit and finish or anything, but you know what? It's surprisingly good for that. The clip similarly is surprisingly good for the price. I I mean, there is a lot of surprisingly good in the sort of overall construction of the pen in every way except the, the, the part that you write with. So that's very nice. The cap feel similarly is actually pretty damn nice. You can't argue with that too much. And even the look of the nib is actually pretty attractive. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff to it here. Uh, and so, you know, to me at least, that's the good. It also comes, by the way, with a cartridge converter. Um, you can, it'll take any normal cartridge, but you can fill it up with any ink you'd like, and it gives you a fair amount of capacity and whatnot. Uh, and that's, that's very nice. I've got it running some, um, oh, what is it? Ur uh, urban ink? Uh, H-E-R-B-I-N, urban, I believe, whatever. Either way, it's good. The cap posts. It's, there is a fair amount of good here. And, you know, I gotta say, the price is absolutely right. For four bucks, that's, um... You know, it's hard to get something like this for four bucks and complain too hard about it. Except, though, I, I gotta complain too hard about it, because there are some serious bad issues here, and let's let's go there. The not-so-great aspect of this is, unfortunately, you know, the, the, the pen part, the actual writing. I mean, if we, we sit here and we're using a decent ink here and whatnot and on a decent set of Rhodia paper, uh, but it's just, it's not very appealing in that way. I mean, don't get me wrong. It absolutely writes. Uh, there we go. Um, it absolutely writes. It's it'll get stuff put on paper, and if that's your goal here, this this will absolutely do the trick. And it is a good first exposure to a fountain pen. For instance, if you want to give one to a kid or something like that, although we're going to come back to an issue with that later on, if they destroy this, you're out four bucks. Hey, whatever. So I mean, it writes, but the thing is, it's a very uh, stiff nib, so you don't get a whole lot of line variation here. I mean, you can get some variation in color if you use a little bit more pressure, and at some angles. Unfortunately, it is very, very scratchy, um, particularly at least for this guy. So I think a little bit of honing could definitely do this pen some good. It's just, but the thing is, more than anything, it is not a joy to write with. This nib is just a little too hard for me. Uh, I tend to like a very soft, very wet pen, and this is not. Um, and so just in that way, it's not much of a pleasure. The other thing that I'll say is, although I'm not having issues with it at the moment, if you spend any time away from this pen, you are going to have feed issues like crazy. Um, and even in doing that, I've occasionally had feed issues. I mean, we saw the one little error on the L here, but I mean, let's just try it here. Let's see if we got any feed things. Oh yeah, you're going to behave good on camera. Ah, uh, you know which side your bread's buttered on. Freaking pen. Anyways, it's trying to thwart me here, but I'm going to want you to trust me that there are definitely feed issues with this pen. <laughs> um, and very often I've had to pop it open and really give the converter a twist to make sure that there's enough ink in there. And I did that right before this review, which is why it's behaving as well as it does. But the feed is not great. The final thing uh, that was frankly most annoying about this guy is that I, uh, this pen is very easy to get ink out of, unfortunately. Um, any kind of 
jerking up and down motion. It's splattering ink everywhere. This pen really takes the fountain pen, the fountain aspect, the fountain pen, very, very seriously. I mean, you can see we are getting actually very large drops of ink out of this pen just from a little bit of up and down motion. And this means that if you put this, for instance, in your briefcase or in your backpack or something like that, next time you open this pen up, you're going to have ink not only splattered all over here, but you may have ink down on this area. This is really, really ugly in that way. I really dislike that feeling of getting to a meeting, taking out my pen, and looking down and realizing it is entirely covered in ink because it got all kinds of ink up inside there, and you can even see right here. And, and so that part is terrible. And I mean, just to give you a sense of things, using the uh, Coeco here, doing something similar, same amount of force, I'm not getting a damn thing out of it. So I really do think that there's probably some variety of issue in there. I'm not good enough with fountain pens to diagnose it, but it is absolutely a thing. And so, uh, to me, that's the biggest frustration here, is not necessarily the fact that it's not a great writer, not necessarily the feet issues, but the fact that if I carry this, you know, in anything but a padded cushion walking down the hallway, um, this guy is going to be covered in ink when I go to open it up next, and I'm going to waste a bunch of nice ink out of it anyways. So, for me, that's why I don't like this pen so much. Uh, let's talk final conclusions here. I'm kind of of two minds on this guy, because at some level... For four bucks, this is actually really impressive. The fact that for four bucks shipped from China, they were able to make a pen that feels nice, that actually looks pretty damn nice, and that does actually write, that's impressive. But the problem is, even at four bucks, it's just not a very good pen. It's not great in terms of the writing feel. It doesn't feed that well, and it is absolutely a fountain. And so I kind of feel like, yeah, sure, it's impressive what they did for four bucks here, but they didn't do quite enough. And so you're probably better if you're just looking to buy a first fountain pen or a cheap fountain pen, taking that four bucks and putting it towards something just a little bit better, where you're going to get a good pen out of the deal at the end. And in fact, the only reason I can really think of for this pen existing and being ordered would be in the, the, in the vicinity of, you know, baby's first fountain pen. Your kid sees your fountain pens, falls in love, wants to give it a shot, and so you buy this guy. The nib is very stiff, so they're really not going to injure it. They're not going to give a damn about uh, some feed issues on occasion. It gives them the experience of, maybe that's a case where this might be interesting. My Mind you, if it goes in their pocket, it's going to come out covered in ink, and I don't know if you want to give kids fountain pens anyways, but that's the only situation in which this can make sense to me. Otherwise, honestly, yeah, it's four bucks, but that's four bucks it'd probably be much more enjoyable, put into a nicer pen, or frankly, put into something else in your life. So, um, that's, that's the review of the Jin Hao X750. It's impressive what they can do for four bucks but it's not quite enough. Hope this has been interesting to you, that I made the right call here, and that I'm feeding your desire for pen reviews. But mostly, I hope that you have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.